Can you do it in reality then? Uh, and that's the that's the nice nice thing. Uh, and this is uh, I built this little model I have over here. Uh, and this is uh, I didn't design it actually. I I, uh, I saw it on uh, on YouTube. There's a guy called uh, calling himself uh, Spork, but his real name is uh, Rich Colorado. And uh, I just shamelessly uh, copied his design, and I even made, emailed him, and he helped me out uh, a great deal with it. And this is actually now designed to generate power at the wheels here, and then deliver it in the air here, and push it in the air. And uh, those of you who want can go with me after this and see it in, the, in action. Uh, and what you see here, and what what, you will, what I'll show you also is, okay, you have wind going this direction, 10 meters per second, now 15 kilometers per, per, per hour this way, and then you're running in the same velocity. So in your uh, reference system, the air is still, you're assuming a constant uh, velocity, no shear. And then in that, cor cor that uh, reference frame, the air is not moving, but the ground is moving. So this is what you have when you put it on a treadmill. And then what you will see if the car is built good enough that if you let it go, it will go, you know, if the, if the treadmills go this way, it will actually go that way when you let it go. And that corresponds to going faster. But the story was this, that the velocity of the air is going that, that direction. And then I'm moving as fast as that. So what I see is only the ground going by at a velocity. And I'm going to set this. So <laughs> there's no wind in here. And uh, we imagine having 15 kilometers per hour wind in our back, and then we are running at the same pace. And then I'll just touch it. So now we are running along and getting a lot of uh, heat because uh, there's no air around us. So when I put this on, and then. Uh, speed of, uh, of the wind, how that go, so it, it wants to go faster than the wind. So this is uh, really proof that it does work. And if you feel, if you feel here behind it, you can feel that flow there that way. to argue against uh, the treadmill. So, it does work. Very high winds. Hope I, I, hope I can break it. <laughs> So, watching the wind turbine car from the air. So, what is this? Is I'm aiming at an explanation of what is going on, really. If uh, maybe some of you would think that I've made a mistake and I'm fooling you with the equations, and I could have dropped a sign somewhere and uh, it's, it's, it's uh, bogus. But this is from the air. This is what you see. Uh, let's see. I can go one down here. Wind turbine car, ground coding system. Well, from the ground you see the car going like this, and the velocity of the air coming like that. If you sit in the air, and now I sit here in a balloon, going, I'm locked on the air, I'm going that way. So the ground is moving that way with this velocity, the infant, that way. But the car is going e in that direction, even faster. So from, from my balloon, I'm seeing the car, the, the other medium going by, and this vehicle going even faster. So that is what's happening when I'm sitting in the generation me in, in, the, yeah, in the generation medium. I will see the car going faster, even even faster by than the other medium. 
So this is what is shown here. I will see the car go, fat, go by with this velocity and the ground go by with that velocity. So as always, if you sit in the generation medium, you'll see this. And another explanation, if, uh, if that doesn't really work for you, uh, let's see, now we sit on the ground, now we have the wind turbine come, car coming by. This is uh, what happens. The wind is coming here. The wind as seen from the wind turbine car is this plus that. And uh, this is pushing, you're generating power here. So this is pushing the rotor that way. That means I'm pushing the air the other way. Let's see here. Yeah, that's the car towing system. I'm pushing the air. And actually, you can show by this 1D momentum that induction is in the wake. The added velocity due to the presence of the rotor is a little bit bigger here. Actually, in fact, it's twice as big as in the rotor plane. So, what you have when the car has gone by is that um, the velocity in the wake here is uh, that plus this due to the rotor here, which is, uh, yeah, well, it's smaller than the free stream velocity. So the car has gone by, velocity is in the wake. When you look at it from the, from the ground, is uh, now smaller once the car has passed. So, from the propeller car, this looks like that. Wind velocity, but the car, the velocity of the car is even faster. So, seen from the propeller car, the wind is coming at you from this direction, even though when you stand on the ground, it's coming from the other direction. This is uh, because we're going faster than the wind. And then, I'm doing, I want to do my propulsion in the air. So, this is this thing. And that means I'm pushing the air the other way. So in this case, uh, this, is, this is called an induction. That's, I'm, push, I'm giving the air extra velocity here. And in the way, it's uh, two times that. So when we look at it from the ground, I've still just added velocity in that direction. So now the car has gone by, and I'm looking at what happens in the way. First, the velocity, and the thing due to the propeller that had passed, and that equals oops, something which is uh, smaller than the free stream velocity. So it has done the same thing, but it's, uh, the reference systems are probably a little bit tricky. But it's doing the same thing. It's reducing velocity. So it's, it's actually taking energy out of the relative difference in velocity of two media. That's all it's doing, both versions. So. That was uh, that sentence. And, uh, well, for the sake of completeness, you can do the other, th the other thing also when the wind is going like that, and you're going in the same direction as the wind, but not quite as fast. But I, I don't think that's too interesting. I, I, uh, I have a report with stuff like this in, but the, the really interesting thing is the tricky thing when going faster than the wind. But you can do the, the slower than the wind also, different ways you can put a, a, a wind turbine up and the, the thrust will help you and the power will help you. And, but it's not really that fun because you can do it with a sail, you can just put a big sail up and probably do it much easier and maybe faster. And uh, you can also do, uh, I've, I've talked in line with the wind, directly downwind, directly upwind. You can go at angles and I have uh, some considerations on that in a, in a report that I'm hopefully done with in not so long.